The digestive system is an example of an organ system. It's made up of several organs that work together to digest and absorb food. Remember, the digestive system is something that you will have studied in Key Stage 3 Science, and your GCSE Biology course assumes that you remember this. Don't panic too much though, if you aren't so fresh on the knowledge, this video will give you a recap. This is the digestive system, which mostly lies within the abdomen. Bear in mind that this image is reversed, like when you're facing somebody, so this would be their right side, and this would be their left side. So what happens to the food that we eat as it passes through the digestive system? Digestion begins in the mouth. Here, salivary glands secrete the enzyme amylase into your saliva to begin the breakdown of starch. So digestion begins in the mouth. This is where the salivary glands are and these produce saliva. Saliva acts like a lubricant and it helps to begin digestion as it secretes amylase to begin the breakdown of starch. The esophagus is a thin tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. So what happens to food after we swallow it? The stomach begins the digestion of proteins in food using the enzyme protease. This simple diagram shows the stomach. This is kind of like a sac with a tube at the end that leads to the small intestine. Inside the stomach is hydrochloric acid. Now this has a pH of 1 to 2, not to break the food down, but to reduce the pH within the stomach to the optimum level for protease to work effectively. Let's see what happens next in the digestive process. The liver produces bile, which helps to break down fats in the small intestine. This diagram shows the liver. This is a large organ found to the right of the stomach. Food doesn't actually pass into the liver, it moves from the stomach to the small intestine. This yellow structure on our diagram that seems to be attached to the liver is the gallbladder. This is where bile, a green liquid, is stored before it's released into the small intestine. Remember that bile isn't an enzyme, but it helps to break down fats. You will learn a bit more about this elsewhere in the course. So where are the digestive enzymes produced? The pancreas produces the enzymes found in the small intestine. This is the pancreas. It sits just below the liver and the stomach. This releases enzymes into the top section of the small intestine, close to where the gallbladder releases bile. It produces carbohydrates enzymes that break down carbohydrates, protease enzymes that break down proteins, and lipase enzymes that break down lipids or fats. So all of these enzymes pass through into the top of the small intestine, which is the next organ that we're going to visit. Food passes through the small and large intestines where further digestion takes place. The small intestine can be found just here on our diagram. This organ is a long narrow tube about seven meters long with rings of muscle that push food through. It's the site of most digestion within this system. After food passes through the small intestine, it moves into the large intestine. This is wider and shorter than the small intestine and is about one and a half meters long. The food that enters the large intestine is mainly indigestible fiber and water. The role of this organ is to absorb water and salts. By the time that food has moved through the large intestine, it's almost at the end of the digestive system. At the end of the digestive system are the rectum and anus, which are responsible for removing solid waste. So on our diagram then, the rectum is found around here, and this is where waste is stored. Just below the rectum is the anus, where waste is eventually excreted when a person goes to the bathroom. This is a full diagram of the digestive system. Let's have a quick recap. So food is digested in the mouth, the stomach and the small intestine. It enters the system via the esophagus here at the top. Just below the esophagus and hiding behind the liver is the stomach. Snuggled in below the stomach is the pancreas, which produces digestive enzymes. To the right-hand side of the stomach is the liver, which produces bile. Remember, the bile is stored in the gallbladder, which can be seen just here. Digested food is absorbed into the bloodstream in the small intestine, 
and excess water is absorbed back into the body in the large intestine. One of the last stops within the digestive system is the rectum, and any undigested food passes out of the anus as faeces when we go to the toilet. Your GCSE biology exams will mostly focus on enzymes and digestion, but it's still important that you remember the different roles of the organs and be able to identify them on a diagram like this one. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!